Hey guys, welcome to today's Oops and Daisy unboxing video. Um, again, apologies if you um, can hear the the gruffness in my voice because I've got a bit of a cold going on at the moment. Um, so if I'm snuffly, I apologise. Um, but yeah, let's crack on. I'm really excited to unbox the the steampunk box, which was our last quarterly subscription box. Um, it was a complete sellout. There are none left. This is the last copy, which is my copy. Uh, I'm not giving it up for anybody. Um, but yeah, if you want to get hold of the next box, which is going to be dispatched on the 1st of December um, and is Roaring Twenties themed to celebrate the fact that we are entering the, the 2020s, um, then make sure that you hit up the link at the bottom of the page um, and subscribe because we expect that to be a sellout as well um so yeah let's let's without further ado go on to unpacking the box so i'm gonna flip it over until i'm not well because i'm trying to use the the scalpel blade upside down aren't i a, a, a champion struggling on so let's undo this so what you'll see in the box is I'm just moving that out of the way hoping that you can still see everything um let's get rid of this actually get rid of the box um first of all i got the stencils in this one it's left separate the reason for that is because it was one of our um our final ones and i didn't know whether the order would want them to be punched or unpunched so i've left them out so that i can get in and punch them if i needed to i'm going to come back to the stencils in a second um and go through all of the bits in here now, steampunk is quite a, a new thing to me it was something that people had been requesting so we've gone ahead and put it together and i did quite a lot of research as to what would it entail and what kind of themes would we want um the feedback so far on the box has been really really positive which has been great um just get into this without ripping all of them lovely tissue paper making a bit of a meal of that so all wrapped up in lovely tissue paper here are our, the contents of our box so first of all in every box you have a content sheet and this should make sure that um you know exactly what should be contained just in case there are any errors um what you should have in the box is what's on this list so do give it a little check because mistakes can happen it's only happened a couple of times but just in case um and make sure that you've got everything you should do what you'll also find at the bottom here is just a reminder to um share with us your creations on social media and use the hashtag um love daisy inspo um so that we can um see what you're creating and also every month we'll be picking out our favorite and giving away a free stencil so that's the contents sheet I'm going to come back and just go straight in with the stencils because they are favourites of mine. So, first one is a steampunk themed, so lots of cogs and things, seahorse. Um, what you'll find in this is that it has 31 sections, so it can be used as a tracker if you want it to, um, or you can just use it as an embellishment on your page. I just really liked the, the look of this design. Um, when I put it together, it's one of my favourite ones that I've created. We've also got the, the steampunk cogs. I'm just gonna hold this up behind it just to make sure that you can you can see what the design looks like because I think the, the light might be reflecting weirdly on it. Um so you've got lots of different shaped cogs and kind of that's the, the essence of steampunk is that mechanical futuristic retro vibe. So I've done these in my September setup um all behind a tracker that i've done done it on the the opening page for september as well so this is our a cog stencil and then we've also got a really nice retro vintage font um and we keep getting asked for for different abc stencils so i thought we'd throw one into our steampunk pop box um and i really like how this font goes together so yeah, I think there's loads of ways that you can use this. Days of the week, um, months of the year, quotes, um, all sorts of things. So that's our three stencils, ABC, Cogs and Seahorse. Um, I'll come back to that in a second. Next bit that I'm gonna open with my handy blade 
um, is our accessories bundle. So you'll notice that the Love Daisy boxes, I've been trying to use as much recyclable packaging as possible. So all of this can be recycled. So within this package, we've got a little key, little brass key, which is also a ruler. I don't know if you can see that, if it's gonna zoom in. Oop, made the camera shake. Um, let me see if I can zoom in on it. So yeah, this is actually, there you go, that's better. Um, this is a, a ruler, but it's also a bookmark and a key. I love this. I was really excited when I found this, so I'm hoping that you'll love it as well. We've got some washi tape, and there were, I think, three different designs of washi tape, um, so it was a bit of a pick and mix as to, to which one you've got, but they're all of a similar theme in that they are, let's get this out, cogs or vintage or, yeah, steampunk themed, basically. So let's just pack this one out so you can have a look. I'm failing with my unpacking at the moment. So clocks, um, pocket watches, etc., etc. That's the vibe of this. I hope you can see that. Okay, that's better. Um, so yeah, vintage, futuristic, travel, all of those kind of things is what I was going for with that. Um, you've also got a post-it note. If I can zoom in on that, that's better, a bit of focus, um, which again is all around time. And this is a, a, a basically a sand timer and egg timer um, that you can add in. Now, a little bit of something different. One of the accessories is a make it yourself. So we have our, it basically said just some plain clips to help you plan. But with a bit of steampunk engineering, you can whip up some washy storage check out the members area for details and there was a blog in the members only area on our website which explains how to do this if i can move through it quickly i'll show you so what you've got in there is three little clips um and these clips i use all the time in my journal they're great for keeping places um holding pages open holding bits in your journal until you stick them down um because they're little they don't they're not too cumbersome they don't get in the way too much so yeah just little brass clips you've got three of those and the idea behind the washi storage is that you would attach she says your little elastic rope to one of them and also to another one So you've got this and you're like how the heck is that washi storage um but what really drives me mad with washi is that you it's rolling around everywhere you basically can string all of your washi onto the tape and you can either clip that to the edge of i've got a storage box that i clip it to or clip them together and all your washi is basically held in one place you've got it on a loop so it's easily accessible obviously with just the one from the box here <laughs> you don't really need storage for that but yeah that's how i saw that working so little washi storage and then we'll head over move these out of the way to what's inside the box following on from the kind of clock theme your first sticker sheet is clocks Ooh, stuff on there so each of these have been, the time has been left blank, so you can fill it in. You can use it as a tracker. You can use it to add scheduled things into your day. Um, there's loads of different ways that you could, you could just use them as decoration, basically. But yeah, I saw them more as kind of a tracker, really. So um, a sleep tracker, exercise tracker, lots of different ways that you can use those. So that's your clocks. And I've also created a, a circular tracker, a monthly tracker. So you can add in the name of the month up here. Um, these can be different habits. So you can colour code those. You can add in uh, different events that's happening. Um, it's basically your, your sort of standard circle tracker, but it's been pre-drawn for you to save you all the, all the faff. That's your second sheet of stickers. And then your worksheets. Um, I've created a template for the Eisenhower matrix. So um, for those of you that haven't used this, there's a great blog post um, on the Oopsie Daisy website that explains how you use this to, to prioritise tasks. If you're anything like me, you have a huge task list and you spend your time doing all of the ones that are interesting and you kind of 
ignore the important ones or the urgent ones and they get forgotten till the end of the day and then you're running around like a crazy person trying to get that done rather than sitting with your feet up having a nice cup of tea so the idea is that each task you think to yourself is it important and is it urgent if it's urgent and important you pop it here if it's important but not urgent you pop it here if it's not important and not urgent you pop it here and if it's not important but urgent you pop it here and the idea is that you would start at the top right and basically work your way around so making sure you prioritize um which task you're going to do first um enables you to kind of make sure you're not procrastinating and spending your time on the wrong things basically so that's the first one and then you've also got a day planner that i created to make easy planning basically if you haven't got time to set up your daily spread this one's got a timeline across the top you've got a room to put your top three tasks and this is um, a planning method that i use constantly so every daily spread that i do i have my three most important tasks um, that I'm going to focus on first and then everything else goes underneath your events or your plans for the day your meal plan your water intake um, and a little box of gratitude and those of you that are really eagle-eyed will notice that I spelled the word gratitude wrong I'm really sorry for that um, that is yeah my bad really I have corrected that and put a download um, with the corrected version along with all the downloads actually for all of this is in the members area on the website so you can pop on there and download more copies of any of those things. Um, it's all included as part of your subscription. So yeah, sorry about that. So that's your day planner. And then last but not least, this is our project kit. And the idea behind the project kit is that every quarter you'll get a kit or um, some tools in order to try out something um, new that you haven't tried out in your journal before. So in the summer um, box, we had watercolour. Um, previously, we've had... Um, oh, God, what have we had? We had the black and white kit. Um, yeah, lots of different things for you to kind of trial and see whether you like it before you really get into it. Um, and I thought scrapbooking really lent itself to this style. So that's what I've done for the, for the steampunk kit. So... I'll open up and show you what's in my, my scrapbook kit. So the idea is kind of adding everything to your journal, like different media, photos, papers, those kind of things to your journal. So I've added lots of different things that you could use for scrapbooking in your journal into the kit. So you've got a couple of different sheets of, of different paper along that kind of vintage vibe. You have a couple of different envelopes, so every kit had slightly different things in it. So bear with if your kit doesn't have these bits. Yeah, you all had the same amount of stuff, but it was just a, a real selection of stuff. Um, you should also have had some, some postcards to go inside these. Um, lovely map envelopes. You've got a sheet of um, stickers and they can be cut out and used in any way that you want them to. You have got some different vellum things. So um, quotes um yeah different pictures and things depending on on what went into your pack um and then some more clocks um again to add in and layer up as you as you see fit and uh, every scrapbooking pack has also got a glue dot pen to open that up to show you so these are amazing i've just added them to the shop on their own as well basically it's a bit like a corrector roller but it has glue dots on it so you roll it along your journal and you can stick bits into the journal without the mess of glue um it's nice and easy to carry on the go um yeah so that really works well with your with your scrapbooking kit that's basically everything in the kit so we'll just recap you've basically got i think i say basically a lot sorry about that um a scrapbooking kit a day planner, the Eisenhower matrix worksheet, your circle um, tracker sticker, and that is A5 size, so that sticks straight into your, your journal, your clock stickers, and you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 14, 21, 28, 35 clock stickers. You've got washi tape and washi storage or clips, depending on how you want to use those. You have your brass key ruler. 
you have um, post-it notes, which are clock um, sand timer themed, one of those. Um, you have your three stencils, so you have your um, seahorse stencil, your cog stencil, and your alphabet stencil, and then your sheet telling you everything that you've got inside there. And that's the steampunk pit kit. Um, I've been really happy with this one. I think the bits inside I can totally, and I already have used them in my journal. So um, that to me is a good sign of, of, of a kit that I'm going to enjoy is when I, I'm desperate to get out and, and play with it all. Um, I hope you've liked it too. If you did subscribe to the kit, you will have received an email asking for some feedback, um, which I'd be really appreciative if you take the time to fill it in. It just means that we can um, make changes and make the each kit improve on the last one and, and really provide what you want in there um so yeah this, this whole setup is 20 pounds per box plus posting and packaging for every quarter most quarters we have them available at, to buy uh, or to pre-order a standalone kit which means you don't get the subscription when you do order via subscription the payment automatically comes out every three months but it also means that you um you automatically get that box so you haven't got a, a rush to get it before it sells out which this one did um it also means you get access to the members only area on the website which gives you all of the the stickers and the the download uh, the the worksheets from all previous kits are available to download so you've basically got a, a a huge archive of things that you can download and add to your journal free of charge um you also get a free monthly super easy stencil um as your subscriber gift so there's tons of different stuff included um if you have any questions pop to the website it's www.lovedaisyjournalbox.com um or pop us a message we'd love to hear your feedback thanks so much for listening take care bye bye